Howdy and welcome to another Shadow Era stream. Today is Hero Spotlight Day. And for the first time, we are going to take our chances and start with some multiplayer battles. Of course, I should mention Black Friday sale 30% off is an amazing deal, but it's supposed to be a free to play account. So we can't buy anything. We're just going to prove how good we can do without spending any money. So far, we have unlocked all the hero, all the human heroes. And we've been doing pretty good. I think I'm going to stick with Boris. Let's check out the deck. Boris' ability. He killed an ally with cost 4 or less. That's going to come in handy, of course. One cost protector is pretty good. I love Dirk for 2. Olden Kurt gets buffed. I love his buff. And at 5 we have Sandworm, which is hard to get rid of because cost of 2. We have some control. We got crippling brawl and retreat. And destroy an enemy weapon or, or armor. Also a little bit of direct damage. Or draw engine there. Extra health. And this gives us a little bit of heal. What else do we got? We got a little bit of armor for some weaklings. It'll help a lot. Buff, Reserved Weapon, and Berserker's Edge. So this is good. Berserker's Edge gets buffed, and then it goes to the graveyard, and we can play this anytime and get it back. So that's a good combo. Not sure how this will do against the real player. It was doing pretty good against the AI. Why don't we go and check it out? Of course, we have Rating 0. I just scroll through the list to see most people are in the 200s, which is pretty good. 150, 130 is like a mid-range. Most people are actually pretty good players on here. <laughs> a little bit scary. Where's all the newbies? I guess you gain levels pretty quickly. I think we're just going to try it out. What do you say? Cross our fingers. Let's see how we do. We got matched up immediately with 238. So he's like a really good player. Barkin. Okay. Against Lance. What does Lance like to do? I guess he gives his allies haste. Ambush and stealth. So I have to be prepared to retreat his allies. Weenie armor would be good. A little bit too early for that. Of course, most players play cards in other sets. This is from Shattered Fates. He didn't have any weapon or armor, but he still summoned an ally. Cost two. I don't think I want to, don't think I want to get rid of it with the retreat. Might as well put a protector. Right now it takes up my protector. That would be a good time for me or my because Night Owl is pretty attack, but it's going to be hard. Can't do Kurt. Yikes. I am not feeling good at this point. I got the games, that's one of my favorite cards. If I was a rogue anyway. Now I could play two retreats and retreat them both. I'm gonna have I could kill one. So I'm gonna retreat one and kill one. Two 
Beat this guy. Kill that guy. And cap that. What was that? So he's ready to haste his allies. There he goes. I knew it. Stealth, ambush, and haste. And he kills my ally and draws with no god in game. Of course, I can retreat him again, but I have to start getting on the offensive or I'm going to die pretty quickly. Cost three. <sighs> so hard decision. Three, four, I guess. Can't do both. Have to decide. Can't attack him directly. Rabble Roser. Gotta buff and kill me. That's not very right fair. I am not doing good at all. Draws a card and it's killed too. Man. I don't like this. It's just gonna get killed. It's too high a tap. To do something. Look at that. How do they have so many cards in hand and I have nothing? Must be doing something wrong, right? I think I need to join a guild to teach me how to play this game. <laughs> and the buff. That is a pretty nice buff. Oh, they don't have any weapon or armor and nothing. Artifacts you control have sustained. Huh. Not any artifacts anyway. Can't do anything. I'm getting clobbered here. I can kill somebody, kill somebody with the three health, three attack, I mean. And I'll heal for two. But he draws a card. And I can't do this anymore. I'm pretty much dead. A really one sided battle. I think it's just showing off now. And he does the final blow. And I got a rating of 7, even though I lost. <laughs> From 0 to 7. Which is still bad. So rating is a rating, not a score. That's something to keep in mind. The thing is, too, I got matched with him because I think he has a high rating that he was waiting a while. I got matched with him immediately. 
normal, normally better if you're waiting. So it's looking for some lower ranked plays right now. And only if you're waiting for a while, then it will sort of gradually open up the rating range that I will look for. That's kind of why I got matched with that good guy right away, because he was probably waiting for a while. Didn't work out too well for me. I will try another battle before I go and tweak my deck, maybe. Mandara 1000. Rating 204. Seems like he's also a high rating. I have a rating of 7. Isn't that the lowest rating you've ever seen? Alright, at least I got my draw engine early. Got a bunch of low cost cards. This isn't too bad of a starting hand. Playing against Banebow that does the direct damage, I think. Two damage, is it? Hunter's Gambit, they love that. As they draw a card when it dies, it gives minus two health. A bit early for a weapon. Like, I think I have four of them. I'd rather start attacking if I can. Just get a little bit of damage, but to start putting the pressure on. It draws two cards. Three, three. When he kills an ally, he gains. Plus two base attack. So I could crippling blow him so that he's not gonna gain attack. I could kill him outright on my turn, which is good. I think I have to start. This would be huge to take care of their allies, but. I need to get my draw engine or I'm dead. Oh, I could also kill it with this. I'll do that so that I get the three attack. At least he's drawing me some good cards. There's the direct damage for two. And he can attack for two. And he clears out all my allies. I have Smashing Blow for three that I might use. Extra two. Do this for three. And then this for two. That's interesting. At least I get a lot of draw this turn, but I'm still struggling. The low cost allies are not sticking at all. Two four on one turn. I want to get healing going. Let's 
I don't know if I can make anything stick though. SD Hellrider just messaged me to say he collected 1 million gold and he's ready to buy his own custom playmat. 1 million gold. For the low, low price of 1 million gold, you too can get your own custom playmat. Wow, look at that. I just got cleaned out. Be good, I can kill off one and it'll buff. It's something at least protects me for a little bit. It's gonna kill it. No, he's just like stealing all my allies. Not very fair, is it? I should have killed this guy sooner rather than later. So if I have eight, I could do both of these, but... Oh, it goes to his owner's hand, so this might come in handy for me. I don't want it back. Thank you very much. I'm gonna kill this guy because he's annoying. Ah, oh, attack! I fixed that bug. Not really a bug, but questionable design choice. I wanted to do the ability, and I attacked instead. In the latest version, it will by default use the ability that like lost me the game let's just blame it on that <laughs> uh. yeah yeah I totally lost me the game right there one less damage from abilities yo But he gets control because of that error. Uh, I can still... I want to retreat it because I need it back. Thank you very much. I want to use my ability on this annoying as hell. I'm going to attack him. I want to use it on this guy. And then I'm going to attack him. I got far. Oh, I should have cast this at the start. Making so many errors. <laughs> it could have been healing. Oh, well. I did Santa. I have 10 resources now. And he wastes an ally to get rid of my weapon. Little does he know I have another copy. I can shield bash. And attack. Oh, 
12 resources. He could do so many things in one turn. <laughs> He's going to overwhelm me pretty quickly. With these low cost haste guys. Gonna get rid of my weapon. 15 resources. What in the world? Just from that one card. Huge. Attack for four and kill it. I want to cast this on the heal first. And then maybe this and this. I still have no choice, no chance against 16, 17 resources now. So many cards in just one turn, and I don't have any tidal waves. <laughs> this is just a normal warrior deck. I can get 10 more health, that'll help. 26, that'll be a huge help. This will help a lot against the weenies. So that's what, 4, 5, 6 so far. 7, 8, 9. Nothing's gonna stick is the problem. Let's skip. I definitely want this. And kill someone at least. And heal. He's gaining resources like crazy, but he's hopefully he won't have too many cards left that are good. And kill someone with my ability, which of course this one. I can destroy this dude. What was that ability? Maybe I should have done. Yeah, I should have done that at the start. Inject the ability. Alright. So I'm up to 30 health. But he's got like infinite resources. Just playing a million cards each turn. Rampage is going to fall off. I don't know how many health it healed. In the new version it'll tell me that Rampage healed what, 10 health. So I don't know if I want to save that. 4, 8, I can cast 2 of these plus this. also want to get this out. I want to do everything to you. Cast this. This, this, got a huge buff, and another protector. Let's see if anything can stick. <laughs> Bad Santa is huge because he has so many resources, he can just play his whole hand. Using those ping abilities to get rid of my protectors. Oh my gosh, overwhelm, what is that card? That, he makes quick work of my allies. 
Just drawing like crazy. That was super fast. And he has strengthened his position by a lot. I am in big trouble. Could use this to get back my weapon. I kind of want two armored sandworms. I'm probably going to die unless I have chain now. So I want to retreat someone. I want chain now. Let's retreat the three damage. Let's get Put this guy out. Twenty resources. I've never seen that before. <laughs> that works great. Perfect shot. Damage can't be reduced. Yeah, it's just going crazy here. This is like the super draw bane bone deck. Bane bone. Uh, I'm about ready to give up. Honestly, this has to be changed too. It's like so hard to find a target. <laughs> Keep me at the front. Can't even kill anybody. Should have did it anyway, maybe? But I'm gonna die anyway. Probably dead this turn, so. He's going to control it. He cleared my board pretty nicely there. I do have to say. And I die by my own whatever it's called. I don't care anymore. Ah, defeat. I'm getting pretty bad matchups. Playing people in the 200s. How am I supposed to ever win a match? Well, there's another guy with zero playing a 20. Come on, why didn't I get matched with a 20? I'm going to try one more time. I felt like I held on at least. 259, come on. These are bad matchups. Felt like I kind of held on for a long time, but 20 resources. Easy. I do have a lot of these, I have a lot of weapons. So playing against Jericho, he gets rid of attachments. 
Negative effects. Hmm. Target ability is discarded from your hand. Target opposing ally is disabled for one turn. Templar, so he's playing a Templar deck. Takes two damage for zero. Zero, and it's disabled and two damage. I do not like that. Not like it at all. Not gonna waste the retreat though. Cards here. Ay, 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 too many high cost cards. That's interesting. So many attachments on that guy. Turn to its owner's hand when it's killed. Eh. One arcane damage, one fire damage. Kill it and it will return to the hand. I can retreat and play this guy. Finally, you got Blood Frenzy. Help me a bit. Doing the same combos. It's buff here. Jeez. Huh. Oh so yeah, I can kill it. If I play this, then they're going to have plus one attack. I need draw. What a bad Santos. Uses his ability to remove my attachment. Not doing too good. Reinforced damage is reduced by one. He just keeps buffing his allies. I need to start attacking. Oh, they should... he's drawing a card too because of that guy. 
Ei, ei, ei. Just a cat. He is going crazy with the buffs there. One turn, buffs him up completely ridiculous. Bam. That was ridiculous. It cost five. Off it and get three. I'm dead next turn. I can't do anything but stop it. Well, this will take a little bit. Yeah, I'm dead next turn. My rating is going up. I'm rating rated 13. Yeah, I think I have to adjust this rating because there's no way new players should be playing against people that are 248. Even if I have to wait, like I don't mind waiting like a few minutes rather than playing people that are rated in the 200s. Two fifty. Anyone want to winter light? Yeah, this is gonna be another slaughter. It's Garth. Poison guy. With ambush. Definitely don't want to be ambushed with poison. I think it costs two and it can do so much damage. I'm protected at least for like one turn, so I'm gonna wait. Gonna do some damage at least a little bit. So much for being protected. Different owner. At least I'm doing a little bit of damage. That's a good buff. 
Oh, 10 health. I only have like one of those. So I want to use that. Kind of want to use this too. And I kind of want my weapon. Oh, I can kill somebody. So use the ability. 21. Use the ability. Kill that dude. Attack to buff my weapon. Okay, so I can use this or I cast two of these. I'm gonna take a chance. Chipping away, but somehow I don't think it will be enough. There's my ill-gotten gains. You can destroy my weapon. What was that? He exiled my ability, my drawing ability. And he doesn't attack. I could play both of these cards. I can kill this guy by ganging up on him, ambush first, follow up. And then retreat that. Ambush first. Follow up. Seek an artifact. See, he doesn't have many cards, so I think it's going to be good. And I can get 10 more health. me. And I can attack him. Not too bad. Spirit Shuriken. Ooh. That was a good combo. Even before. So he, he does one attack, so do it. Ambush there. Four, yeah. Totally worth it. Down to nine. 33 to nine, that sounds good. <laughs> I have no cards in my hand. Oh no, you can get rid of my. Oh no. It's really good to share going up. You can't remove re my attachment. Ah, oh, hate those snakes. And he's drawing cards. Yeah, perp. Awesome. Plus, I can get rid of that pesky, pesky guy. Plus, do some damage, keep up the pressure. But I have no cards in my hand. Oh, that hurts. It hurts. Oh, that 
hurts so bad. So close and yet so far, no draw. You. Now I have to take a beating, and I might not be able to recover. He's at five health, but he's just chewing through me. Uh, Nothing is going to be able to stick. I get to kill somebody next turn at least. Okay. Anyone have any abilities? Artifact and Graveyard. This guy is doing the buff. This guy. I'm not doing too bad. I think I'm hanging on at least. Five. <laughs> oh, so close yet so far away. Finish thing. Ooh, the bus. Oh, so close. Can't do both. Can't kill anybody anyway. I'm dead. I'm pretty much dead. Oh, yeah. Stop thief. Just for good measure, stop thief. And another one. Got him down to four health. So close, nothing to do. Can't even kill anybody. GG. That was a close game. My new rating is 15. As I'm holding out. So the good thing you might notice is that I am getting 100 experience even if I lose. Which is... Go to the campaigns. If I won this campaign, I would only get 
50 experience. So by playing multiplayer, even if I lose, I'm getting more experience than with playing the campaign missions. Even if you're losing, it is worthwhile to go to multiplayer. It is frustrating. You might feel like you have to <laughs> tweak your deck for sure. Now, what is not working? This combo never really could pull it off. This was important. These three cards were key for me. This didn't really do anything. Not sure what I can improve. I think I need combos, like stuff that actually buffs my allies more. Just go to the merchant. I have a ton of gold. Go to the merchant. So by default, these are usable cards. 383 to pick from. Let's see if we can't find any better things defender friendly allies can't be attacked that would be huge for me look at that only cost two and then suddenly my allies can't be attacked and i could have won that game right that might have been good rage of course is good Two of them. This also cover of night. Of stealth, I can't be attacked, but duration two. Special delivery again. That would have been huge to do three damage. Cost of four is high, a bit high. I could also use some draw because I'm always. Always, always without cards. This is my main draw engine, but I'm losing one health each time. I think I like special delivery. I should get at least two. Alice can't attack. Would be okay. Attached card. Bad Santa's not too bad too, because they normally have a lot of cards and I don't. I think I'm gonna like Bad Santa. Mm. More bizarre. Bad Santa and Bazaar both like help both each player, so this also would be good. But going after the hero, certainly have plus two attack. Or I could uh, on five, so I don't actually need five, I only need four. Let's just call the crystals cards. That's the first set. So maybe we should start checking out other sets. Woo. Plus one attack while attacking allies with cost four or greater. I see people lose, use diplomat a lot. They lose passive abilities. Cost five dollars. That fast. Mm. To be good if you're getting overwhelmed. 
Huh. Yeah, I don't know what's the issue. <laughs> so many options. This would be huge. Disable, but it's only one turn, so. Defender. I always like Defender. Ooh, anti weapon. That would be huge if I'm playing someone with a weapon. And it has Defender. I kind of like that. That's a good damage. Though. Killing spree. Yeah, I need like some abilities. There is so many options here. Ooh. Cost of one, you could like get three more cards. A little bit expensive. Maybe I should get the alt hero. <laughs> alt Boris. Why not, right? Alt Boris. Yeah. Shattered Fates has a lot of Twilight stuff. Mm -hmm. Suddenly be three four three four and then plus one with allies should be a four four for cost two that is opportunist and then with this twilight plus two health these are some good twilight combo. We have to pay attention to the tribe. Oh, and this thing buffs the Twilight Ally is killed. I'm not sure what tribe warriors good with. Six cards. There are like so many cards. I don't know what to do. Normally you play another player, you see what they're using, and then you say, hey, that's a good combo. What you could also do is go to multiplayer, find your hero somewhere, find a Boris, this guy, old Boris, not so high rating, but you could check out his match, see what cards he does copy it you can also go to the forums and search for the deck that's there but i think that's gonna do it for today a little bit shorter stream today but overall we lost a lot but we had fun i think i learned a lot about playing other people it's all about combos and buffing your allies if you just play a straight game without any card combos you probably don't have a chance <laughs> i always got defeated by those crazy combos so until next time have a good day see ya